everyone and welcome to my latest video. So in this video, I want to talk to you about live streaming. So we all know that video is super important to our visibility when we are trying to build our business and our brand online. And we know that sometimes video can be quite daunting for some people. Sometimes it's the preparation, it's the editing, it's knowing what to say, it's knowing how to actually do the video. But this is where live streaming comes into its own, because when you live stream, apart from preparing what you're going to be talking about and using the basic equipment, live streaming is all about engaging with your audience and having an interactive two way conversation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with live streaming using the super easy to use tool Restream.io. The best way for me to show you how to use it is to jump into the Restream dashboard. But before I do that, just a quick intro on to who I am. My name is Anita Wong and I connect the digital dots to make magical workflows so that you can increase your sales and your visibility and your confidence online. So let's dive into that dashboard and let's get you started live streaming. Okay, so here we are inside of my Restream dashboard. I'm recording this around the Halloween time, which is why you can see that they have this awesome special. So don't forget that if you haven't got a Restream account, jump underneath this video and there is an awesome link in there for you to sign up for free. And if you do that soon, you might even catch one of the special Halloween deals. Okay, so here we are inside of Restream. Just wanna quickly go through the left-hand side and I'm gonna show you the easiest way that you can start live streaming. So here on the left, we have our home key. This is where you come every time you come into the studio. And here is where you can find the pathway to the next step. Either you stream with a studio, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today, so that you can start live streaming with confidence. You can use the stream with OBS, vMix, etc. You can stream a video file, you can schedule an event, and you can use Restream to record only. But for this video, I want to just get you off the ground and streaming yourself. So we're going to use the live studio. Down here is where you go if you have any events planned, and they will show you the planned events and the past events. Here, we also have a video storage area. So when you upload videos to Restream and play them, you can do this here. And you can also get your recordings. And every time you go live, Restream will save that recording for you for one whole month, which means that you can download your recording and then upload it to other platforms and reach a much wider audience yet again. We also have an analytics area, which is super cool because it actually tells you what's been happening with your live streams, who's watching you, how many comments you've got. It's really useful, actually. And then here with these three little dots is just an extra area where you go into your billing and your settings and things like that. So let's jump back to the home page. OK, so like I said, I want you to get off the ground and start live streaming as soon as possible. So the best way for you to do that is to jump into the studio. So inside of the studio, as you will see in a second. OK, so here we are inside the studio. Now, there are lots of things in here that you just need to have a little brief overview of. And of course, when you start live streaming, you'll start to get used to using them as your confidence grows. So the first thing you need to know is that when you come into the studio, you're not actually live. So don't worry about coming in. You don't go live until you hit that big orange button up here. OK, so you don't have to worry about coming straight into the studio and thinking that you're already live because you won't be. What happens is that you come up here on the left and your name is visible. These little bars show your network connectivity. So it means that if they're green, then it means that your network connection to the internet is awesome and you can carry on live streaming. If it's really low, you might want to just move closer to your Wi-Fi unit. So if your Wi-Fi is downstairs and you can plug your computer in, then take your computer down to there. But if you're on Wi-Fi, make sure between the router and where you're doing your live stream, that all the doors are open because it helps the stream and the um, internet get to you a bit easier. In here, we also have what's shown in here will be shown on the main screen. So in the main screen, we have these little setups here. So this is where I want you to go first. This little cog here, the settings, enables you to choose your camera. So I'm currently using my stream cam at the moment, but you may have a camera built into your computer. If that's the case, you want to click this. And as you can see, I also have my HD camera, which is the one that comes with my actual computer. So there you go. That's the one that comes from my computer. And then I go back to my stream cam, moves me a little bit away and I'm a bit further away. So there's lots of different things you can do here. So choose your camera or your webcam and make sure that's all set up. We want to just leave it on standard definition. There are some options, but just leave it on standard for now. 
Audio input, if you're using a microphone that's built in, then it will show that. If you've got a microphone that you plug in like this one, then make sure that that's plugged into the back of your computer and then you can select it from the choices in the drop down box. Audio output is just what's coming out of the computer. So just leave that on default. And at the moment, I wouldn't go too far into this, but basically what it means is that your live stream quality will be set as high. And then you'll also have some echo cancellation, noise suppression and uh, auto gain. So it just helps you to maximize the stream when it goes out. So that's the basic settings regarding your camera and your audio. And you can switch off your audio by clicking this button and you can switch off your camera by clicking that button. And then you get that little um, place card there. Now, just thinking about this area, if you wanted to share your screen, so if you wanted to do a presentation, maybe a PowerPoint, or you want to share another, another screen, you can click this button and it will allow you to choose to share a screen. So here I've got the actual whole screen, or I can choose a window, or I can choose a Chrome tab. So you can choose, if once you've chosen it, you just click it and click share, and it will automatically share that for you. So obviously we're just sharing my window at the moment, so that's why you can see it go on forever. But what happens here is this is where I can show you what happens inside the window. So when it's just you, we're on this setting here. And when there's no screen share, it will just be you taking up the whole screen. When you share your screen, you have this option of having it left or right. You can also make it big. So this is like if you're interviewing someone, this setting's quite good. If there's more than two of you, you can have more people on the screen. If you want to make the shared screen the focus or somebody else who's in your studio the focus, you can swap that over. You can also have it so that you're underneath the shared area or actually on the right hand side of the shared area. So it's quite versatile and you can do lots of magic things inside of here. If you want to invite a guest, you just need to click this button here. It will bring up a unique link that you copy and send to your friend or your colleague or the person you want to interview. They click that and they'll be able to join you in the studio. This is a different one. So I would suggest that at the moment when you're starting out, don't worry about adding a source. But if you wanted to, you can add a third party tool in here. So we're not going to go into that at the moment because we're just going to concentrate on the live studio to make it easy for you to get started and to start live streaming. So that's the setup here. Now, let's move over to the right hand side, because this is where some of the magic happens. As you can see at the moment, we're in the graphics tab and up the top here, we've got these brand new folders that we can have. So we can have a default folder, which is the colors that come with Restream. If you're on a paid plan, you can then add your own brand and you can add your brand in by clicking the pencil or clicking the new brand tab. That will allow you to just add your brand and have everything in place ready for when you go live. That's probably worth doing just to start off with. You can also use this default, which is like how the name is shown. You can use a bigger brand so it goes across and you can use a rounded band. So maybe let me just take my screen share off. We we'll go here. You can just see how those look. So as you can see, we go square, rounded and the default. So you've got three different choices to make your graphics look how you want them to. And you just change your primary color by grabbing hold of your brand sheet and using the brand hex code that you want to lead when it comes to your restream graphics. Now, down here, there is this default graphic. So what happens is that restream have given you some great overlays, they've given you some video clips and some background. So when you add a background, you can add a video as a background or a still as a background. So if I were to choose this one, this would just be a picture that would sit in the background. If I wanted a video, I would click the video option and it would play in the background whilst I'm doing my live, my live stream. Don't forget while I'm showing you this, we're not actually live at the moment. Then we have the video clips. So the video clips take the place of you on the screen. So these are like if you want to have a countdown. So if I click one, it takes everything off, it mutes you and it allows that to just play in the background. This is useful if you are preparing something in the background, just making sure that all the checks are done whilst you're live. So let's just stop that a second. And then we do have overlays. So what overlays do is that they actually overlay what you're doing. So we can have the pre-prepared default ones that we've got here. And I've got one here that I use for my past show where I had a Q&A and I dropped that in there. So these are quite good and they're useful when you are doing things. So again, you can have a little 
line there. So there's all sorts of things you can do. And you can make these overlays in a third party tool that you might want to have access to. Maybe say Canva or Wave.video. They all do these sorts of things where you can create overlays. Just remember when you're doing an overlay that the space in between, so the bit you want to see through, you have to save as transparent. So best to download it as a PNG and save the background as transparent. OK, so that's the graphics area. These are super cool and these will help you to brand your studio as your own. The next thing along is the captions. So the captions are really, really useful. And if you're just starting out with a live streaming show, what I use the captions for is to list my agenda. So with the agenda, what I do is I know what I'm going to be talking about. So this is one from my, from my digital dot live that I did the other day. This is what I was talking about. Then the next time I want to discuss a different part of what I'm talking about, I click the next one and so on and so on. And that's how I keep myself on track when it comes to live streaming. So that's just a super awesome tip for you. If you're going to do a live stream, prepare the show beforehand, have bullet points to know what you're going to be talking about. And that really helps you stay on track. So that's the captions. And all you have to do is click show and they show up on the screen click hide, they come off the screen. If you make a spelling mistake, you can just click the three little dots and edit the caption out. And if you want to finish with it, you can remove the caption as well. Now, this is where the live studio gets really, really exciting because what happens when you go live is that when people communicate with you, which is one of the great things about live streaming is that you can have an open conversation with your viewers. They will write a message underneath your live stream. So say you're live streaming to YouTube and you're live streaming to your Facebook business page. It doesn't matter if the viewers on YouTube or on your Facebook business page, when they comment, it's gonna come into one place, which is the chat. And you can actually see that chat. And what happens with the chat is it will stay here whilst you're live and you can actually show the chat. So say like if somebody asks a question or you want to just acknowledge the people who are on the live stream with you, you press show and it comes up on the screen for you, which is really awesome. And it makes the people who are, interacting with your live feel like you're actually really noticing them and you bring them into the live stream with you there is also a feature where you can actually have the chat overlaid of the live stream so if i click that on it moves us to the left and the chat then sits on the right hand side so it will show up once there's a chat it will show up in here along the right hand side as well which is super awesome isn't it so that's the graphics the captions and the chat. Now, one more thing you need to decide on before you go live, if you're not pre-planning to schedule it and you're going to come into your studio and just go live to your to your followers, is to decide what the title of the live, script, live stream is and also which channels you want to live stream to. So that's where we go up here to this edit button. So you edit the button here. This will enable you to edit your title so you write your title in here you also have space to write your description in here and you can include links and anything else that you might need in this description so try and be as clear and um, as inviting as possible when you're doing this so if you've got a guest coming in put information about your guest in here if you've got any links that you want people to check out once you've finished the live put those in here as well because what will happen is that those will show up on all of your channels. Then your content type, that just depends on where it's going. But yeah, it usually is business, gaming. So that, that's like the um, categories that you get on YouTube. So you can just choose which one you're, you fall into. So mine's going to be business. You click next, and that will then allow you to choose your destinations. So if it's the first time you're in your Restream Studio, you will need to add your destinations to the Restream Studio. If you've been in Restream before, but you haven't really used it because you're a bit nervous, then this is where you add your destinations. So when you add your destinations to Restream, this is where you're wanting to live stream to. So I've got my LinkedIn up here. And I've also got my Facebook and I've also got my Twitter and my YouTube. So I just all I need to do is go on and switch them on and it will automatically add those in for me. And I just switch them on again and I switch it on again. Now, say I have a new channel. Maybe I have a Facebook group I want to join into or I have um, I've just started going on to Twitter and I want to, to join Twitter. All you do is you click add destination. So if you have never connected your destinations, you won't see any of the channels. You'll just click that add destination 
and you come up with this really cool platform. Now, this shows you a number of different platforms that you can live stream to. I believe there's about 30 that you can go live to, but most of us will be going live to YouTube, to Twitter, to LinkedIn, to Facebook, to Twitch, and maybe your Facebook groups. Of course, if you go live to any of the other ones, you just do exactly the same as what I'm going to show you now. So all you do is you click where you want to go live to. So let's say I'm going to connect it to Twitter. It's going to ask me to connect to Twitter. So I'm going to click connect to Twitter. It's then going to take me to my account. So there's my account up there on the right. And it's going to ask me to authorize the app within Restream and within Twitter. So in other words, we're connecting the digital dots between your live studio and your Twitter account. So all you need to do is click, yes, I authorize the app. And it's going to redirect you back into your Restream Studio and you're all connected. So then you can write your title in there if you want to for your Twitter account. So you could just write your title in here and click save. And then your Twitter is also connected. So as you can see down the bottom, I now have my Twitter connected. So I just need to turn it on and I'm all set. Then I click close and I'm all set to go live. So let's just quickly, briefly go over what we need to do to go live. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that our camera and our microphone is working properly. If you have any screens you want to share, make sure that you've shared that and you switch it on ready to go. Also, make sure you're set up with whichever window configuration you would like to start off with. Make sure that your graphics are set up for what you want. So if you've got a particular color, make sure you've done that. Make sure that you've got any overlays, video clips and backgrounds that you want in situ ready and rolling and ready to go. Make sure that your captions are all updated. So make sure that all of your captions are in ready so that you can keep on track when you're going live. Make sure that your chat is switched on so that you've got it ready. Confirm that you've got all your destinations ready then all you have to do is click that go live button. So when you click that go live button, it's going to give you a three, two, one connection, and then you're going to be live. So now I'm live on my channels. It's going to go out to all of my channels. And then once you've finished your live, you just click the end stream. Whilst you're live, if anyone writes anything, it's going to come into this chat here, and you'll be able to add your captions in and your graphics as you wish. Once you've finished and you're happy with your stream, click end stream, click OK, and your stream is done. It's going to ask you how you've done with your experience. You can click yes or no. Obviously, hopefully you'll click yes. Skip it if you want, and you come back into your studio. As you can see up here, it says I'm preparing your recordings. What it's doing is it's taking your recording and your live that you did, and it's making it into an MP4 video for you. You will be able to download the whole video. You'll also be able to download the audio track, and if you have a guest in your studio, you can also download the separate audio tracks. So if you want to repurpose your live stream as a podcast, perhaps, then you'll be able to do that. Click download recordings. And like I said, you've got your full video, you've got your full audio, or you've got your split audio tracks. Also, don't forget that in this playlist, there is also some other videos about the new live streaming option inside of Restream called Live Streaming Pairs. So Pairs is a way of you inviting the people who you're having an interview with, or you might be collaborating with a brand, and you are able to actually invite them into your studio, and they are actually able to multi-stream across their channels as well as your own. You want to check out more about how to use Restream Pairs, then please click that link above my head now and you'll be able to access that video. So I hope you found this overview of how to get started live streaming using the Restream.io live streaming studio. Don't forget that if you haven't started live streaming and you want a simple, easy live streaming tool to get started with, then click the link below this video and you'll be able to sign up for Restream for free. Don't forget that if there's any special offers, you'll see those as soon as you click through that link. If you have any questions about what I've gone through today, then please drop them in the comments below this video. So don't forget that if you've liked this video, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about live streaming using Restream, but also connecting those digital dots so that you can create magical workflows, make more sales and be more confident online. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye for now.